What's up, Concert Addicts? Johnny Kinsvider here with Concert Addiction, talking about something really shitty that happened in the news over the weekend. I'm trying to put out a lot of news videos this weekend since I've been a little behind on it, so here we go. This is a headline that I saw on Monday, I believe, even though it actually took place on Saturday night. Luke Bryan, as you guys may or may not know, if you're fans of modern country music, has been on a massive stadium tour across the country, the What Makes You Country Tour, I believe is what it's billed. Uh, it's a huge lineup, too, on this tour. He's got uh, Sam Hunt, John Party, and Morgan Wallen, I believe. All pretty strong names. Uh, they travel around different football stadiums, playing shows to thousands and thousands of people. You'd think that'd be a fun time, right? Yeah, it probably was for some people, but just like everything else in life, there's got to be a couple assholes that fuck everything up and have to get violent for whatever reason. So the reports on this specific incident are still a little bit fuzzy. My information is coming from an article posted by the Denver Westward. Um, it reports that there was an incident after the Luke Bryan concert, so this didn't actually happen this didn't actually take place during the concert itself, but after the fact where three people were left severely wounded after an apparent fight that broke out after the show. Now, the details on this are fuzzy, but what I've heard in other reports is that three people were found just left unconscious by the outside of the stadium, kind of by one of the walkways there. And uh, one of the dudes was injured so bad, he had a fractured skull and bleeding on his, bla bleeding on his brain actually had to have fucking brain surgery because of a fight at a Luke Bryan concert. You'd think after all the shitty stuff that's been happening in this country and all the violence and shit like this, especially, I mean, around the country in general, but you'd think violence in general at concerts after uh, Manchester and after Las Vegas and after all these other fucking things that had happened, you'd think people would chill the fuck out. I know that violence at concerts has been happening for a long time. And this wasn't a shooting by any means. It was just a fight, but... Sounds like a pretty fucking graphic brawl that happened. It was more than just a fist fight if some dude's happened to have surgery on his fucking brain. You'd think that after everything that has happened, people would learn to just enjoy the experience and just fucking have a good time. They all worked hard to buy these concert tickets to come out and have a good night and just get that escape. I know that's what I get when I go to concerts. That's why I love going to concerts so much. As much as most of the people who like these videos or watch these videos, however, and are in the online concert addiction community and stuff like that, that's what we do. We go to have a good time, so it sucks when there's people there that just want to fuck it up, and I've seen them before. We've had a lot of people you know, especially at these country shows, I don't mean to stereotype, but there are a lot of people that drink way too much, more than they can handle, and then tempers are on high, and somebody bumps into them, and next thing you know, two dudes are fighting, which, from what I've heard, is probably what happened in this situation. Again, I'm not certain. There was a report from the Westward from a uh, relative of one of the vi victims who wished to remain anonymous, saying that uh, he had stepped into a fight where somebody was threatening his wife or something like that. I don't know if this was one of the dudes, or if this was the dude that ended up having to have brain surgery or not. Um, either way, the shit got out of control. People don't just talk shit out anymore or just turn the other cheek. You gotta be cool and hit each other, I guess, and uh, in this situation, it sounds like more and more people jumped in and hit each other till we had a big, full-out brawl on our hands. Uh, eventually, it cleared out, but three people were left unconscious, police had to respond, emergency personnel had to respond as of yet. They haven't put out any reports that I've seen anyways, but somebody could have seriously been, like, even more seriously injured, or someone could have really been killed. This shit sounds violent, like, this isn't just your typical parking lot fight and uh it really pisses me off because this is my shit this is what i like to do and i like to go to these things without having to worry about violence but apparently the day and age that we live in you can't do that anymore you always have to worry about violence uh which is unfortunate and that's not how it should be so we should all just fucking try something new and if somebody bumps into you just walk away if somebody starts cussing at you just fucking walk away you're not being a bitch you're just not being an asshole is what it is. Because if you decide to get in a fight with this person, regardless if they're right or wrong, you're an asshole because you just created this whole big situation. That's my mind. That That's that's how I see it in my mind anyways. I know people got to have pride and defend themselves, and I understand all that, but there's a time and a place, man. Nobody's going to think any less of you if you just keep walking. 
But I understand, and I wasn't there in this situation, so I mean no disrespect to anybody involved with this because I don't actually know what happened because they haven't released any more details about it. They've kind of actually brushed it under the rug. For as big of a deal as this was, three people being injured, one of them actually having to receive brain surgery, the only outlet that I saw this from was the Denver Westward, which is huge around here, but you'd think it would have been picked up on some of the local TV news stations or something like that, but... Nobody's talking about it, and I'm not entirely sure why, because to me, if they don't start shedding lights on this, shedding more of a light on this kind of stuff, then it's just going to keep happening, and that really sucks. So, fucking be cool to each other, have a fucking good time at concerts, you guys are all there together to have a good time, Luke Bryan even sings, most people are good, but the people here, there was a couple assholes in this crowd that don't fit into that song right, I guess, so... That wasn't even much of a news video. That was most, mostly just me ranting about how people need to stop being assholes at concerts. And if somebody is an asshole to you, just let it go. I'm sorry, but don't start this. Don't fucking make somebody's brain bleed or don't get your fucking skull cracked because you have to step up and fight somebody. Just turn the other cheek. Like I said, I don't want to speak too much about this specific situation. I'm just talking in general because I don't know what the situation was. Maybe this guy was defending against an attacker, in which case do that. If somebody throws the first punch, then you can lay him out. But don't fucking, don't be starting shit is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, rant over. Now I get to my plugs. Uh, Like my Facebook page. Sorry fucking spaced out for a sec like my facebook page uh facebook.com slash concert addiction and my website uh check that out concertaddiction.com never miss anything going on in the world of live music uh we're also going to be at the fort collins comic con hosting a panel on comic books and rock and roll if you're in the area make sure to check it out and shortly i will have a contest up on the facebook page to win passes to the convention and uh also a prize pack if you attend our panel. So uh, make sure to uh, check that out and subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash concert addiction. And uh, check back here for more music news as well as the website and the Facebook page. Until next time, thanks for watching.